There is a tendency to equate natural building with the use of mud. But Mother Earth has many offspring and mud is only one of them. Mud is undoubtedly one of the planet's most abundant and inexpensive building materials. Its plasticity makes it a wonderful creative medium to say nothing of its excellent thermal and respiratory properties. The crushing strength of compressed mud is well related to that of the soil for obvious reasons and the color and composition vary from place to place lending a distinctive character to the settlement of each region. But it's little wonder that mud is usually found in combination with nature's other wonder material, stone. Where mud is erodible, stone is hard and resilient. As such, it makes for protective surfaces that resist erosion and corrosion alike. Being chemically and structurally stable, it's an ideal input where endurance is at a premium. As for its aesthetic possibilities, well, stone is really a shorthand phrase for an entire language of expression. The combination of mud and stone thus adds up to a remarkably versatile building grammar. It also allows you to use cement the way it was meant to be used, as a first-rate adhesive in small quantities rather than an unnecessary and expensive body substance. And, oh yes, you completely eliminate the need for add-on surfacing. In our previous film, we looked at the composite approach to the mudstone combinations, the Ram Lochan tile with a dual casting technique. Another equally ingenious method is differential casting. These attractive, strong and varied examples of walling are achieved with a controlled gradation of material use by layering the inputs before fusing them together. Here's how it works. All it takes is a simple manually operated block maker with a built-in compressor and vibrator such as those widely available at any of the building centers. A PVC sheet is first placed in the base of the mold and coated with mobile oil to facilitate demolding. Now for the body. Stone pieces are distributed on the PVC sheet to fill the base area. This will go to make the exterior stone-like face of the finished block. The 1 is to 3 cement sand mixture poured over this seeps into the gaps between the stone pieces. The vibrator is simply a pair of eccentric bolts attached by pulley to a fractional horsepower motor. This is now used to aid integration of the slurry and stone in this layer with the body material to be inserted next. The sides are then coated with fine cement slurry to enhance surface bonding. For the bulk of the block, it's usually mud stabilized with either 2% cement or 5% lime or a combination of the two. First, about a third of the remaining volume is covered with this stabilized mud. A jute piece is then dipped in fine slurry and sandwiched between this layer